Hello, after having introduced you to collaborative learning, we go further introducing you to inquiry-based learning. This methodology goes a step further within the collaborative mode by challenging the students with the, the idea that learning involves a research-based investigation. Inquiry-based learning engages students by making real-world connections through exploration and high-level questioning. It is about triggering curiosity and activating a student's curiosity is more important and complex than mere information delivery. Inquiry-based uh, learning uh, goes back to constructivist learning theories, such as the work of Piaget, Dewey, Vygotsky and Freire, among others. Theory is experiential learning pedagogy, that is, learning through experiences, comprises the learner actively participating in personal or authentic experiences to make meaning from it. The meaning is constructed from an experience and can be concluded as an individual or within a group. Inquiry-based learning is primarily a learning method developed during the 60s as a response to traditional forms of instruction where people were required to memorize information from instructional materials. In opposition to the traditional lecture method, the inquiry and research-based learning model is discovery-based in the sense that students are engaged in active, participative, interactive and applied learning. Such learning methodology has been widely promoted thanks to the 2007 Rockard report published by the European Commission. For more infos about the report, please have a look at the PDF file in complementary materials. Now let's go further on and say something about the methodology. The students are personally engaged and oriented to the investigative activity, guided by the teacher through the conceptualization phase. This phase includes the development of questions and the creation of hypotheses. The second phase is the investigation one, consisting in the exploration, experimentation and interpretation of the data on the personal research. The third phase challenges the students by letting them present what they have found out and learned. Here they can develop a website using Webly or perhaps a slideshow using Google Slides. Finally, students are asked to reflect on the learning process itself. There is where you get feedback and where they can work in metacognition, thinking about thinking. The uh, inquiry-based learning can be applied according to four main types of investigation. The confirmatory survey, where students are given a question, the answer and methods for reaching the answer. The students use the critical thinking and investigation skills in learning how this method works. The survey stru the structured survey, Stud students are here given an open question and an investigation method. They use this method to create an evidence-backed conclusion. The guided survey, students gather in groups to design investigation methods and reinforce problem-solving skills to reach a conclusion to an open question. And the open survey or project work, here students pose original questions and they investigate through their own methods, presenting their results to expand their knowledge base through discussion. Now go, let's go uh, to try and have some more information about the designing of an IBL course. To organize your course, it is necessary to carry out following steps. Identify the relevant learning objectives. Design the uh, IBL activity according to the learner's tra training level. Apply the classroom or workshop methodology. Design or provide opportunities for formative assessment, discussion and learner self-assessment. Evaluate le le the learner formatively. Get feedback about the learning process itself. In fact, the entire inquiry-based learning activity can be designed on the basis of the 5E model proposed by PP and Lanz in 1990, which outlines the learning cycle approach that is perfectly applicable to the design and especially the delivery of the IPL-based learning experience. 
The five model bases on engagement, exploration, explanation, elaboration and evaluation. Let's go more in deep in this. So, um, engagement stands for the introduction to the methodology and first observation of a phenomenon or experience in the relation to a given problem to be investigated. Exploration stands for the experimental phase of knowledge manipulation and application. So, for instance, bibliographic research, first concrete learning experience, exploration of questions and hypotheses. The explanation phase stands for the discussion of the first data to emerge with the introduction of a theoretical framework of reference to contextualize what has appeared from the preliminary research. So, for instance, the finding out of laws, theories and so on. The elaboration phase stands for the active experimentation of newly acquired knowledge and the evaluation phase stands for the last phase during which the teacher seeks for formative feedback moments, opportunities for self-assessment and peer-to-peer -peer evaluation. The designing, uh, designing the inquiry-based learning activity, the teacher may decide whether to propose a training course based on the consequentiality of the entire inquiry proposal, thus from the confirmatory to the open-ended, in view of a continuum of increasing complexity at the level of learning and application of knowledge on the part of the students, or to select one or more levels on which to base his or her training activity, taking into account the target audience. Moreover, it is important to project the learning environment in, modal in uh, two main modalities. It can be online. In this case, the activity can be introduced and carried out using the Microsoft Team platform or other collaboration and sharing platforms. Within the team of the course, the teacher can structure private channels aimed at reproposing the division into groups, and each activity will be supported by the use of the WooClub Instant Poll software so as to make participation and the learning process itself active and interactive. To introduce the online methodology, integrate an anticipatory phase, phase uh, uh, O, through, through which he, the teacher, using tools such as WooClub, organizers, groups, and activities, invites students to correctly reorder the five phases of IBL. And if you wish to know more about this online uh, designing, then you can have a look to the YouTube video How to Structure an Inquiry-Based Lesson in Complementary Materials. If you wish to uh, design it, uh, design your course in, a pre in, in presence, then uh, from a practical point of view, it is necessary to divide the students into group, and in this case, see the instructions about collaborative learning, propose the IBL activity according to the chosen level of inquiry, assume the role of learning facilitator by going around the desks and thus supporting the inquiry process. Then arrange moments of discussions at the end of each stage of inquiry and apply or test the method or result in the laboratory if possible. It is possible that you have some doubts about, about uh, the results of uh, this procedure, but here are some suggestions about the positive uh, results we have already proven. Classical notionism has the disadvantage of putting the student's critical education in second place, whereas IBL education aims to provide students with the essential tool to investigate and interpret the surrounding reality. Driven by curiosity, are, they are stimulated by personal interests, and the students will be more likely to become passionate about studying a particular discipline with all that this entails in terms of fulfillment and facilitating entry into the world of work. According to the scientific community, the transition from the traditional deductive approach to inquiry-based teaching and collaborative methodologies will undoubtedly mark a positive change by involving students on a more personal and active base. So, uh, to conclude, uh, what is next? 
what comes next? Inquiry-based learning tries to turn students into researchers on a small scale. The method broadly and proportionally evokes the investigation of a real scientific researcher. Students make conjectures, verify them, learn from their mistakes, and interpret the results obtained from direct experimentation. This helps students to make their own connections about what they learn. Moreover, the use, the use of open questions promotes students to utilize their own methods and thinking styles to solve problems, putting themselves at the center of the experience. This strongly promotes their engagement, provides differentiated and inclusive education possibilities. And from the, an instructor's perspective, this learning approach focuses on helping students get from the curiosity stage into critical thinking and deeper levels of understanding. So now we hope that this little guide can be useful for you. And if you need some more materials about inquiry-based learning, go please to the section supplementary materials. Thank you.